Hi, I'm Bob Whipple and I'm also called the Trust Ambassador. In this brief video, I'd like to share an analogy with you about trust. It's one that I've used for some time. First of all, before we get to the analogy, I hope you can relate to the concept of trust being similar to a bank account. Like we have an account of trust with other individuals in our lives and the level of trust is what's really important sort of like the balance in a bank account and that we have that balance there and on a daily basis we're making deposits to the trust account good things that are happening that are increasing trust or we can also make withdrawals to the trust account which reduces the balance and so of course the trick is to try to keep the balance as high as possible over time and then we'll achieve the benefits of high trust with that individual. Well the analogy that I like to use is uh, an analogy that uses this barometer. I made this up a couple of years ago to make my point about how I believe trust is built and lost. And so this is, my wife tells me she thinks I got the parts off the Titanic. And I said well, well probably more like the African Queen Actually, it came from my neighbor's yard. He does salvage work, and he always has crazy things around. So I went over and got this ratchet and some handles and a bunch of weights and things and put together this Rube Goldberg. The idea is this. We make deposits to the trust account, usually in small increments, and we make them over a period of time. It's like putting small deposits in the bank every week when we have our paycheck or something like that. So we do things like we, we act in a consistent way with others. Well, that, that's a deposit. Or we treat other people with respect. That's another deposit. So every day as we do good things with people we tend to build up that trust account. A big one is admitting mistakes would be uh, putting deposits in the trust account. Another one is acting with with integrity brings trust deposits and so all these things big one, another big one is doing what you say you're going to do following up those kinds of things make deposits in the trust account now I think it's pretty difficult to actually make a big deposit in the trust account with any one transaction it's like you just don't have the stuff to put in the account unless something unusual is going on and you get a special event that maybe could be a big deposit. Let's see, for example, if you have to land a plane in the Hudson River, well, that's a pretty big deposit, but you don't really get a chance to do that very often. Sometimes in our lives there's an opportunity that comes up that allows us to make a very big deposit with people. But most of the time, at work at least, and even at home, we're making deposits routinely on an individual basis that are small, but the, but the account builds up over time. Unfortunately, what happens on the withdrawal side, if we haven't set up a culture of high trust, what happens on the withdrawal side, if inevitably we're going to have withdrawals, but typically what happens is a withdrawal can become a very big withdrawal very quickly, and it looks like this. So what happened is all the trust equity that we would built up over the past year or however long we were making those deposits was wiped out in one sentence or one email or one phone call or, or you know, even just body language in a meeting. It's amazing how that can happen. In English it sounds like this. You know I've known Sally for 10 years and I've always trusted her. She's always been square with me. I've never had any reason to doubt her. But after she said that yesterday, I'll never trust her again. We think that way as human beings, and it really works against trust because it takes so long to build it up, but it can be destroyed in a heartbeat. So, but watch this. If I'm, I had a withdrawal and I did something wrong and the, and the, the trust crashed down to zero, I got no choice but to try to build it back up. So I start making deposits again just like I did before. I treat people with respect. Uh, 
I act with integrity. I do all the things that I was doing before. I walk my talk. I do all the things. I'm friendly with people. I reinforce them. All those things. But you notice I'm making deposits. But when you notice the trust level isn't going up any yet. It takes a long, long time for us to build the equity back to where our deposits are actually registering in trust. And so the interesting phenomenon for me is to think about what would it be like in an organizational sense if when we made a withdrawal, because after all we're going to make withdrawals, they're going to happen from time to time. Nobody's perfect. But if we had the culture set up such that trust was high to begin with, when we made a withdrawal it would look like this. And that would mean that we, as soon as we start making deposits again, we're immediately building back the trust equity and it would be so powerful. That's what I call the phenomenon of reinforcing candor. And we're going to talk about it in this course when we talk about the leader grow trust model.